that just made it to the LFS. Am I the only person that wears one Coral Store shirt to another Coral Store without even noticing? Was it on purpose? Wasn't planned? Well, not embarrass ourselves. Let's go. Snowflake eel action. I've always wanted a snowflake eel. Is he stuck? No, he just went down there on his own. Look at this. Do any of you guys have eels? Wow. I've always wanted some eels. Got a blue one. Yeah. Eels are cool. Oh, there's another shark back there. Oh, look at that. Alright guys, so while I was in the LFS, I didn't really find any corals that spoke to me. Well, I take that back. There was a lot of torches and LPS that were great price. However, um, I was looking for something for the living room, the Red Sea 350 Fire Island, because the office tank isn't ready yet. However, um, I figured, you know, I, I still need something for the office tank. So I picked up an additional Nero 5. So I do believe this is definitely going to help because I have one on one side and obviously you need to have even flow. So this, I'm going to put them both in, in the same synchronicity. We're going to open this up, get this set up. I'm actually super excited about this because it is app controlled um, at some point um, in, in the future. Because I've spent, dude, I've spent so much money in the past two days on this hobby. This was this one was like 250 bucks. So... Um, and it, I didn't get this for free or this is, I pay for it. Um, but I would like to get an upgraded return pump that's also remote controlled because if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I like to do top down shots and it's so much easier just to push a button and have that top down, um, shot, you know, getting everything to shut off. So, um, let's get home. Let's open this up. I'll walk you guys through this step by step. So let's buckle up. All right, guys, so here we have the Nero 5. So I already have one of these in my aquarium, but I want to show you kind of what it comes with. Um, and then it does use the AI app, which is really easy to use. So I already kind of cracked the seal open. So I think this would compare closely with the MP10s by Ecotech. I feel like I like these a little bit better just because they are easier to clean. Um, I mean, you'd literally just twist this off and you could get in here. Um, regarding the app, I do know that the new um, MP10s, you can get them um, with, the, with the app. All right, guys, so this is what we got. Fish guard, power head, controller. Does come with some screws if you want to use that. I always use the app. These are external adapters, so if you live in Europe, X, Y, and Z, you don't use the regular plugs. And here we have the power source. Plug this in. So I'm going to try to see if I can synchronize this with the ones that I currently have. Make it all super, super easy. I kind of feel silly because I feel like I, I, I don't have my old guard. I don't know what I feel like. All right, so this is ours right here. Boom, too easy. So I'm gonna connect this and get this programmed and put it in the app, so. These clowns are begging to catch me slipping so they can rip my hands off. These are legit the most aggressive clowns I've ever had. Borderline like, a little prone. So, all right, so check this out. We got Nero over here, super dirty Nero. Brand new Nero here. What I wanna do is I wanna have them go off each other, because right now I had a lot of flow on this side. So this should definitely even everything out. So I gotta get this plugged in. And we should be in good shape. All 
right guys, so now we're gonna program it. I plugged it in. So here I have my display on the AI app. We're gonna add a device. Nero, this is going in the office tank. Yep, there's already one here. It's searching for a device. That's it. Hey guys, so the pump just finished updating and immediately started flowing. It's way too strong. But look at all the detritus because it's picking up everything that was on the left hand side of the tank. So let's take a look at the app. And then what we'll do is we'll look at the flow and notice there's two Neros. So this is what it looks like. This is the father or the adult. The parent, this is the child. So here are the settings that I have it. I have it impulsing. I got it impulsing. And then when you click on it, it's half a second, half a second. I got it in 75. I'm probably gonna have to lower it because that's a little too strong. But that's how you get that really nice pulsing mode. I'm gonna put it at 50% to start with because now there's double the flow. All right, reefers. So I have been having a huge Asterina starfish issue. Um, these Asterinas are going crazy. They've been, it all started when they um, ate my GMKs, then my Scarlet Fever, Zoanthids. These are Zoanthids I'm talking about, guys. So um, they recently went after my Exosphere. So I have a lot, I, I, you know, I have a lot of really nice Zoas. They went after my Hyphestus, and I'm really not trying to have that continue to happen. So I picked up a really cool harlequin shrimp. Now, if you guys have been following the channel, you know that I have a really awesome blue throat trigger in that aquarium and he will definitely gobble this little guy up. So the goal is to move the trigger to the office and release this little puppy into the aquarium. And this guy should clean up there's so many Asterinas, I mean, literally daily. Last night I pulled out like 20 of them. Um, and I'm always catching them. So he should go to town. And then from there, I'll figure out what I want to do with them. If I want to keep them in the aquarium and keep just, you know, providing food. Or um, pull them out and maybe put them in a different aquarium or get store credit. So let's get home, pull out the trigger, and acclimate this little guy. Right, reefer. So I just picked up a mushroom that I've been looking for for a very long time. I just happened to come uh, to one of my LFSs to actually get some water to do a water change, um, and I picked up the shroom. So um, we're popping it off the plug, the, the popping it off the plug to put it on the tile. I'm a little tired, um, but let's get home so we can really see what this thing looks like. In this video, there's going to be a little bit of everything. So I got some epoxy, some plugs. A little bit of glue. I do get a frag some of my zoanthids, and I'm get this. I'm gonna get this really nice frag rack to put in the corner of my display, um, on top of also getting that crazy, crazy mushroom, guys. This thing is insane. It's huge. Real quick, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, cause this is just the beginning. Um, so at my LFS, I had a huge sale the day before, um, and I had a huge issue at the house uh, regarding some plumbing that I got fixed, so I couldn't come but they still hooked me up, so. Question, since I don't see one in the box, am I able to grab this one? Yep. All right, cool. Super cool corner. Ah. I have the same one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And guys, I wish I could say that all the cyano is gone, but it's really not. So when you try to do things the nice way and it doesn't work, got to pull the big guns out. So cross your fingers for this one, which I'm going to tell you in detail how I'm going to do this to get rid of the ultimate cyano and the office JBJ. That's going to be another video.
So here we have this rainbow bubble tip that keeps moving. I had him placed right here and he just does not sit still. So what I'm actually gonna do, um, well, real quick, I actually got this from um, a subscriber on um, on YouTube. I actually met him at the Facebook Marketplace um, and, he, and he really, and he hooked me up with it. So, um, but I'm gonna put him in the office tank. Now, my only fear is I do have a Black Widow. However, that tank should be in theory big enough um, that as long as it'll touch, it should be fine. And I am gonna run some carbon um, just because it is a quitter and it just doesn't stop moving. So I got my cup. I'm gonna move them, but I need to turn off the floor real quick. All right, guys, so I've been working on the aquarium for some time. As you can see, I just added a new mushroom. Look at all that gold. Look at it right there, guys. Look at all that gold and purple. That is a fire mushroom, or some people call it a magic carpet mushroom. So I am having to rearrange some corals because I do want that to be a showpiece, very similar to my Frank. If we back up, you can see that Frank is huge. Um, I mean, that Frank is at least four inches wide. And I do think that that mushroom has that same potential because it was pretty big at the shop and it was getting blasted with flow. So what I'm currently doing it's just working on the aquarium. So I do have some other corals that I am going to place now. Um, apart from that, um, I did get a frag rack because I do want to put a lot of my higher end zoanthids on a corner frag rack right over here. So I am working on some putty. I got the frag rack over there. So that's the next step that I'm working on. So here, let me get my glue. Now for me, whenever I'm picking placement for my corals. Something that I am thinking about is future growth. So a lot of people just think about the immediate, but then when their corals start growing, they're kind of like in a pickle. So for me, I like to take that into consideration when I'm placing all of my corals, is what is it gonna look like, you know, in a year and six months from now? So this, I believe it's called like an appleberry montifora. This is the next one that I'm working on. This is a low light monty. So I am going to place it in a really cool spot. I do get really messy, guys, whenever I am doing this. And when I'm gluing directly to the rock, I do add a lot of putty and some glue because it allows me to be more moldable. Do I go through a lot of glue? Yep. If you don't want to go through glue, don't do what I do. But it allows me to be way more nimble when I'm placing corals. All right, guys, so some of the stuff I've already done. Move the Monty down there. Another Monty there. I love the tiered effect like I did up here. I like when it does that. So I did two tiers there. There's the Fire Shroom. Put a little Dragonite Zoa, my button Scully. So this all should grow in nicely. But now what I did was I had an Asterina issue. And if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I bought a harlequin shrimp. And you might be asking yourself, I see you have a blue throat trigger, what's going on? Nothing, actually nothing's going on. Um, I did a poll on Instagram and everybody was like, oh, he's gonna eat him. And I'm like, I have my big, beautiful cleaner shrimp in here. And that trigger is like super docile. Like when it comes to feeding, he's very aggressive. But when it comes to his, um, the tank mates, super calm. So, yeah, he's still in there. I'm looking at him right now. I'll see if I get a good shot of him. He's down there in that cave, down there. You can kind of see him if you zoom in. So I bought this frag rack on my LFS. It's gonna go in a corner. And I'm actually gonna put a lot of my higher end zoanthids because I've noticed that this happens. You know, with reef aquariums, you get pests in your, in your system, no matter how clean you try to be, all, something always happens. So at least this is gonna allow me to keep a lot of my higher end zoanthids away from any potential harm of any potential pests. And it's easier to monitor them. I had them in my in a big frag rack, but it was way too big. Ugh. So at least this will be more incognito and easier to allow them to grow. That's one. We'll put the other one right here. 
and it's clear. Let's see how that looks. That looks pretty good, actually. So you might be asking yourself, what type of Zillow are you gonna put in there? Well, for starters, what I've been doing is I've been soaking some plugs. So we're trying to pull out of here, but I got special speckled cracks, got Charmanders, little shops of horrors, and I'm actually gonna frag a couple of them. So, and the reason I want them on the plug is because when you dust them, if they don't have the little peg, they literally will go flying everywhere. So, here I got the plug. Here's the way that I like to do it, guys. A little bit of putty. I put glue, putty, glue. This is how a lot of the LFSs do it. If you've been following the channel for some time, you've seen me do this before. We got glue. I wet it. Putty. Glue. All right. Gonna wet it. All right, so this one specifically is gonna be for the speckled cracks. That's why it's a much bigger frag plug. There we go. That's it, that's all she wrote. And she has first one. A lot of babies. Is in there. Let me just put on there. All right, Little Shops of Horror, Charmanders, Speckled Crack. Uh, can't remember that name. All right, so, trolls. Huh? Trolls. Rainbow Trolls. Now, I do have some really high-end frags that I'm going to put in here in a second, like Hyphestus. Um, I can't remember the rest of them, but they're in my other aquarium. Let me go rack them real quick. This is all amped. You can see it's still even open. It's probably one of the prettiest Zolas I've ever had. Pretty much, it's a candy apple red hybrid. So, not to get technical or go with the coral names and stuff. So I've had so many Zolas. It's a really fancy candy apple red. All right, so we're gonna put this little guy here. I can already see the comments. I get anxiety from the way he's handling the Zolas. Well, guess what? I don't blame you. All right. My hands are full of glue. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue. There's our putty. You kinda wanna make a bed, almost. All right, guys, that's done. Look how, not the prettiest, not terrible, but this should go nicely. This oriented loves light. The more light it has, the better. It does flourish. And guys, this thing went down to nothing and it just came back. So I'm super excited to be able to grow this sucker out. Actually, let's move you. I'll move you over here. Because I want you front and center. Because I love that. Oops, slapped it. Let's put you over here. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode of Zoo Tank Boys. Just don't forget, like, subscribe, leave a comment. And you know I can't end this video without giving one of you guys a shout out. So I'm going to put that comment right here. Also, guys, if you did not check out our first episode on the ZTB podcast, 
Check it out, guys. There's going to be so many crazy, crazy topics, but we're not going to stop doing these videos. So the podcast is just going to be extra content still coming. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Go on, take boys out. <laughs>